almost to my house, but here's my little dove friend. Moved again, sitting in the bush. I don't know if you can see it. Above the rocks, there's a bush, and then above the bush, in the middle of the bush is my little dove friend. Hello, dove. Followed me over here. Praise Yeshua. He is the Almighty. Praise you, Abba Father. You are good, and your glory endureth forever. Here he comes. He is coming. The Almighty is coming. Praise him. Praise him. Who is and who was and who is to come? The Almighty. Praise him, all ye saints. Praise him. The Almighty, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Praise the Father. Praise the Son. Abba Father, we praise you, one. Holy, holy, holy. You are coming. You are coming with the clouds. You are coming with the cloud of witnesses. And every eye will see him. because of him they will all mourn because of him even so come amen and amen we say come lord jesus come hosanna 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 i pray with all the saints in agreement of all of those who pray in the will of the father by the holy spirit i pray in agreement at that um, the true Israel, the true saints of God, the true kings and priests of God, the true children of God would be kept safe in perfect peace and that their minds would stay on Jesus because that's how you stay in perfect peace, a mind that stayed on Jesus. And I pray also with you saints, I pray for the protection of your families and your friends, the ones that you've invited to the wedding supper of Lamb. And because you, of your faith in the, in the death atonement and, re, and the blood of Christ for the remission of your sins, all who you invite will come to the wedding supper of the Lamb. But it will not be a massacre, as some people say. That is a lie from the pits of hell. They want to turn your eyes and hearts away from Jesus, who has died for us. We know he is a good God and that he has lovely, beautiful things waiting for us. And um, he always wants what's best for us. The kings of the earth and the ones who are in prison here do not want good things for us. They want to make our lives miserable, horrible, or keep us in, in um, their system of lies and deceit and slavery. That is the truth. And the fallen angels, oops, it just went in a hole. The fallen angels know this. The fallen angels lie and deceive um, the men at the kings of the earth. And they keep believing them and making um, covenants with them. But we break all the covenants because in the blood of Christ, all covenants are broken by the bride and the body of Christ. All covenants, all the decrees that they make, anything they, that we sign, anything that we do on earth that, that binds us to the earth, we are loosed by Jesus. Because if Jesus sets us free, we are free indeed. Anything that we do does not stand under the blood covenant of God. God's covenant is stronger and more powerful. All your sin even is washed away and forgotten and forgiven but through the blood of the Lamb. And there's nothing that we have done, nothing that we can do to save ourselves. And it's throughout the whole Word of God that this is the truth. This is the truth. And the truth will set you free. This is Jesus. And that we are set free. We are loosed. All of us are loosed. And the enemy is bound in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I agree with all the saints in this. Amen and amen. And all of those who would seek to harm us or raise up a... Uh, accusation against any saints or any body or bride of Christ and their families, anyone who would raise up a, um, a, uh, a accusation against them, even if it is true, Jesus' blood for the remission of the sins of the world for all of those who will receive him and receive this truth. So they have nothing to stand on. Jesus said that Satan has nothing to hold him with, that he has nothing against him, nothing that he can do. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray amen and amen. Agree with me, saints. Post on the bottom and that you agree with an amen and amen because it is so. It is so. We will be saved. He will not give his people to destruction. He will not give his people to be eat here for their flesh to be eaten. It's the enemy's flesh that will be eaten. It's the kings of the earth, according to Second Peter, uh, I mean, uh, Revelation chapter uh, 17 through 19. According to them, that's whenever it happens. All right, God bless you all.